what I'm saying to you guys is I want more detail, right? So let's say this is all I have here right now, right? This is it right here. Yes, I can put clouds, but this on its own looks kind of boring, guys, for me. Like, look, if I say more details to Balian, maybe I should come in here like this and make a path, right? For example. Oh, you can't see my screen? Let me do this again. Pause for the cause, Balian, pause. Let me do that again. Okay, so let's pretend that this is me, right? It is, this is me, <laughs> there's no pretending. So my drawing says, there it is, couple steps, couple pillars, couple pillars over here and so on. That's to me is not enough, okay? That's a starting point. That's called blocking. Blocking, you get all your elements in place, okay? I don't know if you guys can see me or not. And then you start adding details, okay? So meaning like, look, look. Let's say I put another, which is right here, this pillar back here. I put these cauldron style burning places above. Nice, I could put some glows in there and so on, right? But that's not enough for me. So I'm thinking maybe I should have a path here, right? So let's just create a path like this, boom. And then maybe like that. So you see, I just, I just use this. So basically I could click on anything I want. And for example, I can come over here. Now I can do a shape like this and then boom, it goes up. I don't like using this too much, but it's right out of 3ds Max, okay? So we're done here. So for example, you say, oh yeah, I put a path in. Woohoo! that's not enough, not enough. Tab in, hit the face, go to three. For example, okay, what I could do is now I can come in here. I can add this, right? I can bring it over here. I can come over here, slide it over there, and you're going, okay, okay, I get what he's doing. What if I come over here and do this every so often? Look, I'm just going to do a few of these, and then, Anthony, I'm coming to the boulders, okay, buddy? I haven't forgotten. So, for example, okay, so now look at my path, all right? So I'm doing something like that, one more here, and then another one right next to it, and bingo, I'll stop here for a minute, okay? Cool, check it out. Guys, what can I do here now, right? And I go into face mode, for example. I'm going to select, uh, hang on a second, let's just come in here, and can I just do a shift? No, it's an alt, I think, something, okay, let me just go like this. One, two, three, four, I'm just going to do one side, okay? So here, so first thing I do is going to press E for extrude, okay, there. There's a bit of, it's more, there's like basically, guys, you got to figure out some tangents, things that stick out, okay? And then I'm going to select these three. I'm going to extrude these now, E, look. So I'm adding more detail. Do you see what I mean? How could I make this more interesting? Well, what if I angle it for the love of humanity? Let's see this. Can we do this? I think we can. For example, let me just simplify this really quickly. One, two, three. See the move tool? Look. See how much better that looks than just that? Guys, do you see what I'm saying? This is what I mean by add detail, right? So now you can come in here and say, yeah, yeah, this is cool, but I'm going to put some torches in here, so I'm going to put some elements in here, okay? So that, to me, is exciting uh -huh. as opposed to a flat land, okay? When I say more details, let's look over here. What else can I do? Well, obviously, I can bring my pillar here, for example. I started with this pillar, see? Look how boring this is, right? It's not boring. It's visually okay. I hope you guys are looking. Second... I did this yesterday for you guys. I added cuts and then I used the bevel tool. You remember that. And then I said to you guys, well, we could do more. So if I hit one right now, watch this. Look at the difference between this and this and this. There's a slight, there's gonna be a detail here that I'm gonna show you in a minute. Watch this. I'm gonna come in here, go to edit mode, and then I'm just gonna hold option le left click on these and I'm gonna slide this down. Watch, I showed this yesterday, but look at the difference between this and this now. This is what I mean, greater detail. Look, boom. Visually more appealing between A, B, and C. Do you guys see that? Guys, can somebody just read the chats, please? See? And then I'll just bring this up. See how much different that is? Okay. Tab out. Then I'll take this guy here, and I'll bring it up, and I'll put him on top of this. Okay? So... I'm adding more detail, and then this goes on. Of course, I don't know if it's correct or not. No one wants to read the chats. Okay, thanks, guys. Appreciate that. How boring mine is? <laughs> how boring hers? <laughs> All right, good stuff. Thank you for reading that out. So I'm looking at this now. I'm pressing one, and I'm looking at it proportionally. I think, you know, this kind of works from a distance, right? I may, I may decide to make this a touch smaller. See how much, look how much difference. One, two, three, and then that on top, right? And then I can add a banner next to it, like I've drawn here or something. This one looks kind of cool, this one here. So what if I went into this pillar right now? Okay, so let me just press S.7, uh, okay? I just made it 0.7 smaller, okay? That's cool. 
goes in this. So that, to me, is a lot better than this one. So if you want to play with this one a bit, watch what I could do here. Okay, every, look what I've done. I've tapered it out, right? Let me duplicate this. Shift D, and I'm going to go on the X. If I'm going too fast, somebody yell out. So here's this starting point, right? So now we go into edit mode, which is where we live, and then we bring this insert edge loop, right? Oh, that's my attack, loop cut, sorry. Here, cut and slide. Cut and slide to the right. Step to the right. Okay, you know what I'm saying. Here. So I'm just left clicking, okay? Left click and drag. So you see, I've done that, right? I didn't need this one, actually. I'm going to undo that. Okay, so I put these cuts in. So watch what I'll do next to make it more interesting. Select this face. I'm going to extrude inward. So you can go in here and press this button. Okay, there you go. Push, push. Look, look how much nicer that is, okay? So then you say bye-bye to the extrude. So get out of it right away. Come back to the edge mode. Bring that up. Come down here. Select that underneath. This is just like the chest piece, folks. This is why I ask people to, to work on my chest piece over and over. Chest, left click. I selected those edges. Look at the X here. If I press S, X, look what I could do. Like that. So you see, this is a lot more interesting now. Okay? So do I want to create a ring around this? So you see, guys, you want to be able in silhouette mode. I don't know how to create silhouette mode in this app because in Maya we just hit 8 and we can see everything in dark. I have no idea how to do it in this app yet but I will. Okay, so now in silhouette mode, this one here is boring. Better, better, better. See, that's what I mean by detail, guys. So now if you can come in here and say, Balian, I got this. I research pillars, and I'm going to come over here. I'm going to give it a little, little ring around here. Okay, so watch. Get out of it. Go to face. One, two, one, two. There it is. Now I'm going to get my extrude tool, come down to along normals, and crank that out. So see? So already this is looking better, right? So now I'm going to get out of the tool, come down here. I'm going to zoom in, press period key. Okay, this is a little off. I could fix that, but I'm not. Alt, left click. Remember, Alt, left click selects the loop, right? So bring it down. Nice, okay? This one, I'm just going to just slightly bring it up. Just slightly, okay? So now look at the difference between A, B, C, and D. All of them except for A. A is okay. It's tapered out, nice, okay? See, what you haven't noticed as well is even this one is tapered out. Look, this guy here is not straight up, it's tapered from the bottom, okay? So this is what I'm talking about. Okay, Andrew, this one's for you now. Okay, so we're gonna go with a cube now, right? So if I go shift right click here, this is my 3D starting point, okay? So now I'm gonna go shift A and bring a cube in here. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, Let's go. There's, there's some cool stuff in here that you could use. Icosphere would work, but anyway, let's not do that. Okay, you're saying a boulder, right? A boulder. So let's see what we can do. Tab. Buddy, let's go into vertex mode today just for fun. Grab these two. Bring them down. And say, okay, this is kind of interesting. I can bring this in. I can bring this out like that. See, I'm having fun here. So you see? So you do go to edge mode. Press 2. Sorry I'm talking fast, guys. I'm super excited that people are getting work done here. Look. So you see, this is a cool start, right? So you see here, like that, right? Okay, so this is a starting point, right? Tab out. Let's duplicate. Shift D and move it on the X. What else can we do? Well, we can go to edit mode again. Bring our loop cut. Nice, nice, nice. Boom. And one more. And get out. Let's go. What can we do now? Oops, oh, sorry. I'm in the wrong uh, mode here. I wanted to select this piece here. Okay, so you see now, this is a boulder, buddy. See what I'm saying? Take some pieces out. Look how different that is compared to just where we started, which was a cube. See what I'm doing? This is what I mean by boulder. So what you could do now is, is say, yeah, yeah, this is kind of cool. I get what you're saying, Balian. Look, like that. You know what I mean? Come over here, bring that out. See how much? It's fun. It's relaxing. It's very meditative modeling. People get addicted to this. That's why they love working in the industry. And you get taken advantage of because you're young people. You can work late not like old people like myself. So now here you go, Shift D, X, slide. And now I'm gonna go one more time. So watch, each time. So you can resize these, for example. You can put them side by side, okay? So watch this, Shift D one more time. This time I'm gonna go on the Y, right here, boom. Now, I'm gonna come over here, edit mode, Andrew. Face, crank it up, oh yeah. You got anything over here? Maybe, okay. I can even go rotate. I don't know what this is going to do here. I don't know. Yeah, boom, like that. See? 
Okay, so we got that. Uh, we take this, we go to two for edge, bring this up and so on. And then you can bring in your loop cut and go across here and get out. Okay, go to vertex maybe, and then, or edge. See what I'm doing here, buddy? See, this is what I mean by boulders, okay? So you just gotta come in here, be a sculptor. I'm not gonna show you sculpting in this stage yet. It's too soon for us. R, let me see, can I just rotate it around? Uh, rotate on the Z. Watch this. So now what you do is you put this into that, right, like that, right? And then you bring a brother or a sister, Shift D, press X, come over, press scale, 0.5. Okay, so I've made it smaller. Okay, and then you bring it over here, you rotate on the Z, go like that. See, now you've got this going. It's the same thing with the, what I showed people earlier with the gemstones, okay? So this is what I mean by boulders. Does that work? Andrew, what say you, buddy? Andrew, speak up, man. I can't. <laughs> is that good? Yeah. Does that help? Yeah. Really? Look at what I just did, Andrew. Did you see what I just did? I pressed control two. No. What did he do? What did he do? What's that? Yeah. Right? If you want to smooth it out, do me a favor, do this first, okay? Check it out. I haven't shown smooth because people get out of hand. So just, just make sure you, you come in here and you smooth, uh, sorry, you, uh, you add an edge at the bottom because smooth, what it does, it rounds things off. One second, buddy. I'll be right there. Uh, here, tab, watch this. I'm going to bring another cut right at the bottom here. Watch this. Get out. Ooh, I see something good over there. Escape. Uh, I'm going to go to this one. So watch the difference between these three, okay? Tab. Oh, I said tab. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Tab. Okay. So look, if you come in here and hit control two, look how now you see how the bottom is nice? See? Because I added a cut. Okay? And then here it's not gonna happen. I'm gonna do the same thing. Control two. Look, it gets you don't have an edge down here. Okay, it does it for you. So this would be a nice bolder method for you if you wanted to. Okay? Cool? Alright, I'm gonna pause.